So we, you can become part of that crowd just by clicking on Upload to Vimeo. Uh, we have the, uh, the traditional record back to DV, uh, back to DV tape if you like, uh, if you want to go back to DV tape, as well as HDV cameras, we can go back to there and put it back to a mobile device. If you want it to go to an iPod or, or a, a PDA of some sort, you can push back to a mobile device. So those are the three basic areas uh, within the editing process, in the production process, you could say. Now, in the editing side, you'll notice, uh, as I mentioned, I have this library on the right. In my library, the top tab is Media tab. I can go in there and show photos, or I can show video, or I can show all my media, that sort of thing. In the video side of things, uh, you can go in and just click on a clip. And when you click on a clip, it will show the preview in the preview window. So you can go back and forth and a scrub through that as well. The next thing that I have here is a tab for transitions. Uh, it has a number of transitions. We have a concept of my favorites. So as you do your productions, even though we have many, many transitions, you'll find that there's some in your style, in, in, in the way you do things, uh, there will be a few transitions that you want to use all the time and they're considered your favorites. Rather than navigating within all these transitions, all you have to do is just right click on one of the transitions that you want to do and just say add to my favorites. So the next time you come into the transition area, you will have your favorite transitions. So this is a very quick way of uh, making your, your favorite transitions show up every time you do your production. The next tab that we have are titles. And these again, if you click on the titles, it will give you a, a preview of the title on the left side. Now the titles are uh, uh, pre-canned. We give you a number of titles, but you can make your own and save them back up into this title area. And just as in transitions, you do have your favorites. So you can go in there and select your favorites. So I would just right click on a title and say add to my favorites. And every time I go to uh, use titles, then I will have my favorites sitting there for me to use in, in, in the future. The next thing that we have is a graphics button. The graphics button gives you a number of basic graphic functions. For instance, color swatches. A lot of times you want to use a color swatch as a background inside of your, inside of your production for a title, for an intro, or for a picture-in-picture -picture effect to be on top of a color. So that's where you get those. Uh, we also support objects. We give you a number of uh, default objects which have uh, knockouts. So for instance, this birthday cake, the white would be replaced with your video and you can scale those objects and put them around and animate them within the production environment. You can also import Flash. So we support SWF files from Flash. So these are animated type files. So if you click on these files, for instance, you'll notice that there's an animation capability to each one of these. Let me just see which one I have happening here. So you have these animations that you can bring in. And this, if, you're, if you use any kind of program to make flash animation, you can bring them in uh, that way as well. In the Effects tab, 